Hey guys, Clay here from Badger Security and Survival, and today we're going to start a new type of series, and it's going to be called Survival or Bust. And basically the premise behind this is we find a cheaper item of something that we may or may not carry in our packs, and we see if it's actually worth the money, or if we recommend you step up to something of higher quality, or a different item of the same price. Let's get started with our first item. Let's do this. Alright guys, so here's what we're going to start this series with. It's something I've been wanting to try for a very, very long time. I just ha haven't really put the money down for it. So basically what this is, it's a Sumpri. I hope I'm saying that right. And it's a, it says camping gear, but basically what we bought it for was the handsaw. You've seen them, they make them in wire. This, this is the chainsaw chain version. Um, and not knowing, it came with... Uh, ferro rod and little emergency whistle as well, which you can never have enough ferro rods. So it comes in this little kind of handcuff size pouch. And it packs up pretty well. We've already taken it out, but comes out pretty well. It's, it's long enough for that my short arms work, but it also works with people with longer arms. This is one of the things I do not like about it. You have to kind of mess with the chain links to make them fit what you want it to do. And basically how this would work was you'd put it around uh, the stump like this and obviously pull on either end until you've cut through whatever you wanted to cut through. Now, I don't know how this is going to go. I've never used one, no, neither the wire nor the chainsaw version. So let's let's go try it. All right, so here's our little handsaw, chainsaw, handsaw, whatever it is. I've never used one of these, so feel free to tell me in the comments how stupid I look. My little nubbins feel sharp, at least. Right. Let's try this guy. I don't even know which way to start on this. Not too bad, it kind of broke in the half before it even got all the way through, but fairly flat cut. All right, so here we are back inside. Uh, I don't think it went, it went better than I thought it was going to, but I still don't know. I obviously am not an expert at using one of these. It took a bit for it to actually catch and there was a lot of hand fatigue while using it. It, it didn't seem like the optimal thing for for that purpose, but that's not what it's for. This is to go into a small section of your B.O.B. or a get home bag or something like that, which, man, if you're far enough that you need to start cutting down trees for firewood from your house, you may be on a plan on a B.O.B. instead of a, a G.H.B. But that's saying I'm sure there's other uses that I'm not thinking of at this point. But there was a lot, a lot of hand fatigue and I don't know. I'd like you guys to tell us in the in the comments, but otherwise, pretty good. Better than I thought, not as good as I had hoped. All right, guys, here are my final thoughts on this. It has its place in terms of comp compactability and price, but for survival or bust, I would definitely say this is definitely a survival item. It didn't break. Everything went 
as well as it possibly could have without me being an expert on the item. And there's probably a learning curve to it, and I'll test it out some more. And if it does break or does a worse job, we'll get back to you and let you guys know. But that said, since this item didn't break and it did what it was, did do what it was supposed to do, I'm going to go with survival on this one. And which is a good thing. Uh, I'm glad we found another item that works. But for the for the price point, I would definitely re recommend something like this Baco or even uh, Silky Silky Saw. Any anything around that same kind of price point. These hand saws are going to be so much easier to use. There, the, this was what 16 bucks. Yep. Uh, and these are about 19, 20, depending on what you what day of the week or if you get catch it on a flash deal on Amazon. Now, this may not have as much blade on it, but it's so much easier to use and you're going to feel way less tired using something like this than this. But again, compactability and price point. It is a little bit better, but when it comes to processing wood, I'm going to spend a couple extra bucks to get something that's going to make it easier on me. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Again, this was the Sumpri. Still don't know whether I'm saying that right or not, but it's their Sumpri camping gear. Now, if you have tried different ones of these and you know of one that works better for the same type of price point, please let us know and we'll see if we can't get that as well and try it out and see if there's any kinds of differences. Make sure you like us on Facebook. Go back to our YouTube, check out some of our videos. And until next time, make yourself ready.